Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you how to disable the new Divi AI features. This is a really simple solution and it's something you should know about because it's the same answer if you were to disable any other Divi feature, right? So let's take a look at what this new feature is and how to disable it. You can click to read about this over on the blog post, but it's really simple. Um, but why remove Divi AI? So by the way, Divi AI is a new feature. Um, it came out in version 4.22. Uh, let me just show you in the, in the builder here what it would look like, you know, when you update. So like here, here is an example of a text module, I believe. Right at the very top, you can see, you know, front and center, right? That blue generate content with AI, right, right here. And then did you notice right here when I'm in this text area, Right here, there used to be just this uh, dynamic content icon. Now they added the AI icon beside it, which I think is good. I think it's a good idea to add it right there as far as where to add it, right? So any module that has text or image, right? Text or image. So I don't know what I have on this website here. So I just have a, a layout from Divi. So I'll open up this. So you can see here, there where it's like the reset, delete settings. Now they added AI right there. And then uh, also, if there's an input, I'll just add a blurb. I know they have it in here too. So like here it is at the top, generate content with AI, and then inside this, this title right here, and then inside a text area. So anything like that, right? So this caused a whole lot of uh, conversation in the Divi Facebook groups in the community about you know, whether or not this should even be a thing, like should this have been added by default and all that. And I'm, I don't, I'm not really gonna get into that. I guess we all can have our own opinions about that. To me, it's just another Divi feature that why wouldn't it be added by default because all the other ones are, but I guess I understand also that it's a little different, but you also have the Divi cloud and everything. So it's the same as that in my opinion. So anyway, just to disable why would you want to disable it? Well, because your clients will go in and they might accidentally mess something up or you just may not want them using your credits. I think it comes with 100 or 50 free credits, something like that, of like generations, right? Image or text. So you may not want them to use up your credits because it's using your account. So there's, you know, there are reasons. Um, maybe there's a security reason or, or like a data security. I don't know if, anyway. I don't know what else going on with AI, but so you may want to just disable it. Well, there you go. There's the answer. When you go to your WordPress dashboard, go down under Divi. You probably can't see this, but um, under Role Editor. So go to the Divi menu, Role Editor, and you're going to see these settings. Now, here's the thing. You can enable and disable any feature right here, not just Divi AI, but if you want to disable it for yourself, you're probably an administrator. So right there you go, right? Um, save that. And then if I go look in the builder, it will not be there. I'll refresh. All right, here I'll open up this same text module and it looks like it did before. You don't have that big blue button and you don't have the icon here. All right, so it's off. Um, if your clients are editors or some other different user role, you'll want to make sure that you click on the tab. So like right here, if I click on editor, um, you can see Divi AI is still enabled. So administrator would be if they're an administrator or for yourself, and then probably editor or any other role, you would want to just disable that and save changes. And you'll notice like by default, like this, this theme builder was off or dynamic content um, something was off like or if I go to different roles here contributor I don't know if there's anything off by default oh there's there's some of these options are even completely missing right see that like there's no theme builder for contributor so anyway I say all this in this video to say like hey you can enable or disable any feature here including Divi AI so that's how you do it um, now they did not have this feature here in 4.22, but they added it in 4.22.1. So just to clarify that, 
It's that simple. Hope you enjoyed that. If you do, we do tutorials about Divi every week. So go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next video.